one thing that played a big part in me dealing with my sexuality is learning the joy of masturbation. You know, masturbation is really a personal kind of taboo. It gets less taboo as you get older, but you know, during your youth, it's a very personal and private experience. You, it helps, it helps you deal with a lot of situations, especially in my life, throughout my life. I do not remember when I began to masturbate. I do remember fantasies that I used to have. There used to be a TV series on um, on um, I don't remember what channel, but it was called it was a Friday the Thirteenth television series. There was a movie called um, Sleepaway Camp. There was um, there were so many characters from TV that I was attracted to um, and that would spark fantasies in my life. I would hump pillows and you know what I'm saying? This is between the age of nine and 11, you know, 11 and 12, when I really discovered, when I started to have fantasies about men. So, It really became like really, I don't want to say an addiction, <laughs> but maybe so. It really became like a, a form of, you know, relaxation around 10. I remember a situation where my stepfather came out the bathroom. We finally, we were not living in shelters and we had an apartment and, um, he was he was coming out the bathroom and he was nude and at that at that time it was one of the biggest pieces and still is actually one of the biggest pieces that I have seen especially then thus far um i was sitting in the kitchen cooking eggs and he just walked out the bathroom and he was nude and i looked down at his dick like And I can't remember what he said at first, but he might have asked me like where something was or something, but I didn't hear him <laughs> because I was looking at his dick like this. And what made me snap out of it is he said, hey, stop looking at my dick and start smiling. <laughs> and I looked down and I was like <laughs> and went back to what I was doing and my um I had the I had a serious erection it was like mm. <laughs> but he started laughing he stood there for a minute smiling and then started laughing and walked off um, but that moment was like a, it's a staple in my memory and I would masturbate to that image because it was the first time like I seen a, a adult male, like a mature male's body, you know, previous times I was, you know, it wasn't the first time I seen an adult male body, but I'm talking about totally nude. I seen my uncles and stuff nude with condoms on and, you know, <laughs> throughout my younger days, but, um. That was a that was a memory that was like wow this is a man <laughs> and and it became a staple in how I masturbate years to come um, dealing not having any attraction to girls and not being comfortable enough to say I'm gay or say I'm attract knowing that being attracted to boys is not good. 
you don't have sexual experiences early on in life in that in that time that I think people start to experiment or maybe you do because I hear some guys some guys say that you know I didn't really do nothing until years later or whatever you know but um, some people just don't and masturbation carried me through that time and um, you know when you become a transsexual masturbation becomes your way of sexual release because you date straight men quote unquote however you want to call them straight men so a lot of times when you're younger you have the mentality that you're a girl the guy is not supposed to suck your penis the guy is not supposed to do anything to your penis and your penis is what makes you come so um some people can come from getting fucked in their ass, but. So, <laughs> your penis is your erogenous zone that, you know, you was born with it. This is what makes you release that sexual tension. So, when you're dealing with a straight guy and he's not giving you that, you can get fucked by him. You can suck his dick or whatever. And you can go masturbate and get your nut. You know what I'm saying? That's something... You know what I'm saying? You always are going to get your nut. You always... It's something that, you know, you come to rely on. You know? When... If you're not... Com like me, early on, I wasn't comfortable with actually getting fucked. So, I was... I was a dick sucking... <sighs> I was sucking dick like crazy. And so, I would be so horny when they leave. I'll be sitting there... And get it. And... <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So it was a, it was masturbation became a part of my sexual experience. And I would have a guy, I would deal with a guy, and then I would masturbate, and that was my a part of my that was a part of my sexual experience. You have the actual reality situation, and then when he leaves, your mind is still in that sexual mode, and you still fantasizing on what you wanted to do. Like if if you was wanted to get fucked by him you know what i'm saying and it, it it was all a part of my sexual experience with masturbation and when i got older in my older stages of um transsexualism i began it it was a form of settling like it, it was a form of negotiation kind of like you know at this point i learned that getting my dick sucked was good but i also learned that you got it you got it takes time to to persuade a dude to do that type of stuff. Um, especially if you are really going after straight guys, first timers and stuff like that. It takes time to persuade them to get into that. And so masturbation gets you over that hump till they're actually doing whatever you want them to do in the bedroom because they love you. Um, so masturbation played a big part in who I am sexually. Even to this day, I probably masturbate twice a day, maybe. <laughs> when I wake up and before I go to sleep. You know, it just now is such a part of my life that, you know, it, it, it makes me sleep better. It makes me actually get up. It makes me, you know, especially when I'm not on hormones. When you're on hormones, it kind of wanes that sex drive but when you're on hormone when you're not on hormones you know that primal male sex drive kicks in and you know masturbation deals with that <laughs>